tales are some kind of escape from reality. Some fantasies that exist only in the wildest of imaginations. Yet there are real stories. Our stories. In times when the odds were against the very thoughts of hope. And our strengths were not enough to cope. One encounter, one divine moment, changed the course of history, bringing to an end what would have been our fate and birthing in us a greater faith. These are our chronicles of miracles, triumphs of faith. These are our Rhapsody Stories. To your every cry, so love is shown for the way behind. I bring to you good news. I'm wraps of A lady regains her sight with confessions and rhapsody of realities. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Psalm 107, verse 20. Christine suffered from a persistent eye defect which deteriorated as she grew older. My name is Christine Lanero from Jinja, Uganda. Uh, I had challenge with my eyes right from when I can remember, I've always been having eye problems right from childhood. Then it went on progressing as I grew. And now time came uh, a point when it would no longer allow me to see properly, especially reading or in open space, air, light, you know. Uh, it, like my, my, my eyes just were like deteriorating as I go on, as a I progress in age. So she visited the doctor and was diagnosed with photophobia, aerophobia, and advanced trichiasis. Until now, one time I had to go to the doctor and they, they had, they did on me a medical checkup and the doctor came up with his diagnosis. He said I had uh, photophobia and then he named another one as aerophobia and also he said now I've had advanced trichiasis. So now this condition really, you know, uh, torment made my life hard because I could not see well, I could not walk, I could not read. Even interacting with the people was a challenge because I can't look up in people's eyes. All the time I need to keep my eyes away from light and from air. So that makes me appear like I'm not confident, I'm not, you know, like uh, outgoing, you understand? So, it was really a big challenge. Reading was a problem. The condition worsened, leading to incessant malaria, and further diagnosis revealed that Christine had to undergo surgical operation. Now, besides the eye problem, I, I also used to fall sick very regularly. You know, like in a month, I can be sick, have malaria, and go on drip, you know, always ending up on drip. So now when the doctor diagnosed that, and he said the trichiasis had, like, it is advanced stage. So he said, now I needed an operation. And uh, at that particular time, I didn't have the money for the operation. So he now said, okay, I can be using some, we call them protective glasses. That's how we put them in the medical form, that I can be using that one. Meanwhile, I go back home and organize the money and come back for operation. There is something new this season. something you don't want to miss. Get ready to fuel your passion for the gospel as Rhapsody takes you through exhilarating moments with inspiring new TV programs.
Rhapsody TV. One day, she got to watch Pastor Chris teaching program on TV and called the phone number of a Christ Embassy church shown on the screen. Now in the process of time, one day I, at home, I was watching television and I saw Pastor Chris's teaching on TV. It was my first time to see Pastor Chris, actually. And I was so touched by the way Pastor was uh, bringing forth the gospel, you know, with this confidence, with assurance that this word works. I had never heard it anywhere before. So I was so inspired and motivated. I thought, I said, I want to look out for this ministry. Where, where can I find them? So there were numbers, telephone numbers, you know, running on the screen. I quickly picked my pen and copied the numbers and I made a phone call to, you know, the call center. And I was received, I told them, I'm Christine from Jinja. And then they directed me where Christ Embassy can be found in Jinja. Come Sunday, I went to church, and uh, uh, reaching there, I found Rhapsody of Realities, the daily devotional book, yes. And uh, I bought it for myself, you know. Being inspired and motivated by how pastor teaches, I was eager to read of his books, much as I had not yet come in, in contact with it, uh, the Rhapsody of Reality before. But just seeing pastor on TV, I was assured that whatever material is producing must be something that is fundamental. So I bought this book, I went back home. I started reading the, the articles and how pastor was explaining the word of God and the confession. Christine kept speaking the confessions in the book and guess what? She got completely healed. So through this book, I learned that the word of God, actually in the Bible, God has already made me whole. So now my believing and confessing makes this word, you know, uh, bring forth what it talks about in my body. Therefore, I went ahead. I started confessing the word, as the Bible says, concerning me, concerning my health. I started declaring. I said, in the name of Jesus, you know, trachisis, the name of Jesus is greater. You know, I started speaking the word of God. I started speaking the word of God. And continuously, from the time I came in contact with this rhapsody of realities and the word of God contained in there, you know, when I started, you know, uh, meditating daily and understanding that the Word of God has the power, according to how Pastor has explained it. I now started speaking this Word, not only to my eye condition, but even to my general health condition. I started speaking the Word of God to my health. I said, I will not be sick. So, and um, you know, I now realize no longer I, fall, I no longer fall sick. Um, the last time I felt uh, the, the symptom came, I spoke the word of God according to how I learned in the Rhapsody of Realities. I spoke and this, the symptoms disappeared. And from that day up to today, I f do not fall sick just because of Rhapsody of Realities. This is the medical report that the doctors wrote that I had the condition of uh, photophobia, you know, with the trachisis, which caused me to strain and almost wasn't able to read without glasses. Now I'm healthy. When I went back, I was tested and I'm okay. Actually, I didn't even bother to recollect that document because it is not necessary. I am healthy and whole. I can read, I can even demonstrate for you. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, with men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. I want to thank God for what perhaps the reality has done in my life. Before now, it was difficult or almost impossible for me to read without glasses. But now, as a result of consistent meditation and confession of the Word of God in this book, I can now read without the glasses, you know, and the, I'm now healthy and strong. Before now, I was always weakly, you know, feverish, malaria all the time, I'm now vibrant to the glory of God. Do you crave for a miraculous transformation in your life? Oh yes, you can have it. Rhapsody of Realities is filled with words to give you the change you desire.
the Bible records that in the last days, there shall be wars, famines, earthquakes, economic depressions, and much more. And all these signs of the end times are being fulfilled every day, letting us know that the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is near. What will be your role in winning more souls? What are you doing to send the gospel of Christ around the world? What are you doing about Christ's soon coming? Join us today as we distribute 250 million copies of Rhapsody Realities around the world in 800 languages this year, 2016. As you partner with us, you will be helping several around the world experience the love of Christ and preparing them for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. For more information on how you can sponsor Rhapsody of Realities around the world, please visit our partnership stand after the close of service. God bless you.